Do you think you would, there's any possibility that you would be, you would invite Greg over, you'd be having a pleasant evening, maybe a really great evening. And at some point you might snap and burn down the house. You know, the fact that it brought me joy to hear you say that, I don't, maybe, oh, I gosh. didn't, I don't know. I, I haven't smiled like this in months. What's happening? You ready to do some improv? Sure. All right. So I have a random uh, list of seven words, and I just need a number between one and seven. Four. Concentration is the word. Concentration. So you just need to, you know, deep, take a few deep breaths, you know, try to visualize yourself, you know, in the situation and, and just, I think it's really helpful just to think about what's the worst case scenario, you know, what's the worst that could happen. I've literally thought of every worst case scenario. First of all, the whole place could catch on fire. Second uh-huh. of all, my mom could walk in. Oh, right. Could you right. imagine if she showed up. I don't, there's a million things could go wrong. And that's all I've thought about it. And I think, I think that's called spiraling. Maybe, but after you've thought about the worst case thing that could happen, like, is it the, is it the catching on fire or is it your mom walking in? Both probably simultaneously happening would be the worst possible if she started the fire. Oh, because you think she would like come walk in, see what's going on and burn down the house with you in it. You know, that sounds wild to say out loud, but I wouldn't put it past her. It is Deborah Mills we're talking about. I, I wouldn't put it past her. Right, right. So what's the likelihood of that happening, though? Hmm. But think through the likelihood of that. Is it really that likely that she's going to discover you in the act, walk into your house, have gasoline available to her and matches, and be able to you know, spread the accelerant around the house and light it before you know what's going on and therefore you're trapped and die. How likely is all of those events happening? Honestly, the gasoline is the only thing that is potentially an out on this. It's Mm -hmm. really, she carries hairspray on her person all the time and she really does smoke like a chimney. It's really possible. And I'm not saying... Like the more that I think about it, I'm start because at first I was like, yeah, under 10% chance. Now, the more that you walked me through your explanation of it, I'm starting to get more of like a 55% chance. Oh, this, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going the right. opposite direction that I think you were intending, which is bad for me too, because I was feeling okay for a minute. And now yeah, I'm convinced she's going to burn it all down. Maybe I just won't go. Maybe I just won't. Maybe I just won't date ever again. Maybe I'll just stop. Mm-hmm. I mean, she maybe. must know that you have dated in the past, that you have had sexual relationships before. I mean, yeah, she loves her grandchildren. I, I assume she knows right. how they got here. Exactly. But I just, I don't it's one of those things where she refuses to see me as anything above 14 year old me, even though I'm well into my forties. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. Mm. Well, I, I mean, I still think you should, you shouldn't stop yourself from dating. I mean, the kids are, your kids are getting older, you know, you've been divorced for several years now. Uh, If you, if you, if you want to, I mean, I mean, some people, they, they don't have any desires along those, those, you know, but other people, I think, you know, most people want to have some sort of connection, right? They want to have some sort of romantic or sexual or ideally both kind of relationship in their life. Right. Yeah. I mean, those things sound wonderful to me, but then well, you there know, you go. Every, every time there's just that nagging voice, it's like the little devil on my shoulder and it's, it comes in the, in the volume of my mother and mm-hmm. it's, not, it's not great. And honestly, um, she's been coming out a lot, like on my date, I went on a first date okay. with that person and I, 
I'm going to call him Greg because his name is Greg and I, I'm okay. just going to rat him out here. Okay. Um, but Greg and I were out to dinner and I, she came out of me. I was talking to the waitress doing all the same jokes as my mom. And oh. I could not stop myself. I could not stop. She's coming out of me now. So even oh. if she doesn't show up and to run down the house, maybe I am my mother. Maybe I'm the thing to be worried about. Do you think you would, there's any possibility that you would be, you would invite Greg over. You'd be having a pleasant evening, maybe a really great evening. And at some point you might snap and burn down the house. You know, the fact that it brought me joy to hear you say that, I don't, maybe, oh, I gosh. didn't, I don't know. I, I haven't smiled like this in months. What's happening? Maybe, maybe we're approaching this wrong. Maybe we're approaching this wrong. Maybe it's part of the experience for you. You know what I mean? Maybe oh. it's, you see what I'm saying? Like, maybe you need to, I, I heard a case about this. There was this case. Okay. Where this couple did a, a string of arsons over like a three month period, like four or five a week, sometimes several in the same night as a sort of sexual foreplay. Oh, like the excitement of creating arson was part of their sexual experience. Uh, it didn't quite make sense to me, but maybe it'll make sense to you. It was, I mean, it was something that she out. really, apparently the, the woman in the relationship sort of needed the man to start fires in order to prove something to her. And, and he was, it's, uh, hot. it's getting me hot. I, I will say mm -hmm. on the real on the real side of like me at first starting to judge myself because finding out that you have a fetish that you didn't ever put the the pieces together on right like this is me having this revelatory right. moment with you of realizing i am turned on by the idea of fires All right oh my god yeah and then realizing I'm not the freak though. I've seen, have you seen porn these days? I'm not the worst fire. I mean, I haven't honestly. seen that kind of porn, but, but, but it's on the tame end on sure. uh, these days, you know, the ones, the porns that were coming up on my Insta feed, I, it was, it was vulgar, not, not the fire stuff. This feels not that bad. And then you tell him the story about the other couple. I don't feel so alone here. I mean, they went to jail. Right, but together and, and they they created kinda, a lot of damage, created a lot of property damage. Oh, I don't want to hurt any. Yeah, no, I'm not into like criminal parts. But well, you're not maybe, you're not you're not a sadist. You're not a pyro sadist. Realizing though how difficult it's going to be fi to find someone who's also into this right. with me, comfortable with this and then also doing it in a way that is good for the environment. Can we do like controlled burns? Cause I don't want to hurt mm -hmm. anything around me. I want to make sure Maybe. it's all above board. You know, the kind of person who might be into it. I feel like somebody who does uh, like special effects in the movie industry. I bet you, I bet, you know, I bet you there's some, some pyros in there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Probably more of the like actual people, not the behind the scenes, the desk jockeys. We're talking like the actual. No, the people who actually start the fires. In okay. so, oh, that could be your career. That could be it. You know what? I think it is time I retire from bagging groceries at the Jewel Osco that I've been working at for twelve years. Even though I love it there, mm -hmm. um, I'm down. I, my only problem is show business seems like a difficult thing to get into. That's the, the only concern. Uh, I would imagine so. As a person who uh, has very little investment in showbiz, I haven't heard great stories about it, but I know my future husband's there. And I also know that I might've found a colleague. So that's yeah. two things kind of pulling me towards it. Yeah. And it's no longer scary. Is it the thought of your mom burning the house down? Cause that might actually, you might. That one still kind of does that's me wrong. Like, yeah, I'm still not into that one. I don't know All if right. I've gone that far. Maybe that's the issue that I really need to get to the root of is why my mom's coming up in these fantasies at all, you know? <laughs> right, right. But that's none of my business. So things went well with Greg? 
Uh, you know, I'll probably call him back. I assume we'll have a second date. Sure, sure. You might, I don't know. I don't know if you want to tell him about this early on. It's one of those things, you know, it's like, it's like one of the things, things I feel like you should tell them before marriage, but you know, second date, it's not necessarily a second date thing. Right. I don't know where, where in the range do you think, like if I were, if, 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 if I were going out with somebody and they had this fetish, when would I want to know it? Right. I don't know. I feel like kind of early on. Yeah. It depends on the person, right? It depends on how serious they are and how well we get along. I don't know that Craig had, we had a lot of surface level conversation. I'm not going to lie. He's very attractive. He did move the candle at dinner. So I mean, move how he's already How do you move the candle. It was in the way of our conversation and he picked it up and then moved it to the side. So he's already playing with fire in front of me. Maybe he's into it too. Am I reading into something? Subtle, that might be reading a little bit into it, but. Okay. I tend to do that in new relationships. Well, I, I uh, you know, it, it, I don't think you can read too much into that. You know, maybe if he was sort of like, maybe if he's like playing his fingers in flame, that might be something, you know, that might be something to do in front of him as to, you know, for you to sort of, I don't know if, if that's something you do. How will I delineate between looking like me, a person who was turned on by fire being around, right? Like, I don't want to dangerous, but I do. I think it's the excitement, the fear. It's the mm-hmm. fear. So I'm into the, I'm into the, the finger the finger flame, but I don't want him to think I'm a magician. So I need to like, that's oh a fine God. line. Yeah, that would be a disaster if he thought you were a magician. That is too early. When do you tell somebody you're a magician? It's I don't know. Real- I mean, because I'm a magician and I have, I've only told one girlfriend after three years and she immediately broke up with me. Immediately. Honestly, you telling me this now makes me not want to. I know you, you don't want to be my friend. I know. <laughs> It's amazing. Like, you know, Being buds. I, I mean, the, I, the only reason I told you is because I knew there was, there was never, ever going to be anything between us. At that point, I'm like, oh, good. I can tell her that I'm a magician. But I, you know, you can't tell anyone else. Can as tell long any as you're, you keep my fire secret, my fire crotch secret, and I'll keep your magician secret. But what kind of magic we do? And what, what kind of magic you into here, bud? Like Chris Angel I, type? I'm, I'm into, you know, close magic cards, that kind of thing. Nice. That's kind of sick. Party, actually. party magic, you know. I wouldn't date you, but that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. No offense. Someday, someday I'll find somebody who's into magic. Won't I? I mean, if you could find somebody who's into f- setting fires while having sex, I think I have a chance to... You seem skeptical. No, I, I honestly feel confident. I really do believe there's somebody for everybody. I've seen some mm-hmm. really interesting couples that I'm like, that gives me hope. Yeah. I just wish there was like an app for magic lovers. That's a great name for it right there. I guess so. What would you, what would the fire app be called? Oh, um, yeah, no. I think anything that you said, it, people would think it's metaphorical. It you set me on fire. Heat. Heat could be good. Heat but it not. would just, too many people would join thinking it's just a metaphor for, for, you know, lust. Burning love. Burning love. Even that. Yeah. Just a metaphor. But You'd have also, to say burning love literally. Also, I've really kind of, ruined my chances at finding this in the sense of I've narrowed down from people who also get turned on by the thought of it. And then also who don't actually want to create like bad arson. So I've just like really no fire status. This is now we're getting closer. No fire status trying to fuck and become potentially more if we have a good conversation.com. Okay. If it's catchy, you know, <laughs> it could work. 
Okay. And scene. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this.